How can parents help teens develop good driving habits? A good driving habit will have a long-term effect on your teen's life. According to the report of Teen Safe 2018, 52% of these teens talk on the phone while driving. Each day, 11 teens die in crashes caused by texting and driving. It is essential for parents to provide proper driving guidance to their teens. However, most of the parents do not know their teens' driving habits. In today's episode, we will discuss how can parents help teens develop good driving habits. But before we get started, please click on that like button and on that subscribe button to our channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications and updates from us. What are good driving habits? Not sure if your teens have a good driving habits or not? Check if they follow the basic driving rules and you will find the answer. Buckle up! According to the NHTSA, in 2017, almost 15,000 lives were saved by seatbelts. Buckle up should be the first thing your teens do when they get in the car and get prepared for a drive. No phone while driving. Using a phone, whether making a call, sending a text message, checking a routine, will increase the chance of crashing as the driver's attention is diverted from the road. No driving after drinking. According to the MADD, about one quarter of fatal teen car accidents involve underage driving and drinking. Drinking will impair one's ability to think clearly and increase one's reaction time. No drowsy driving. Lack of sleep will have a harmful effect on a driver's coordination, judgment, and reaction time while driving, which increases the risk of an accident. Why it is important to have a good driving habit? Having a good driving habit not only protects your teenager's safety when they are driving, but also improves the safety of their passengers and the safety of the drivers around them. However, it is easy for teens to get into bad driving habits as they have not yet formed a mature view of driving. Parents should talk to their teens about good driving habits and educate some driving safety rules. Be a good example and get involved in their driving habits from the beginning and stay involved for the duration of their teen years. Ways to know how your teens drive. Observe how they drive. After teens get their learner's permit, they will need an experienced adult to accompany them while driving. In most cases, parents will take this job. That will be an excellent chance to observe and learn the way your teen drives. Here are the things that you should pay attention to. Does he follow the traffic rules? How often does he or she brake suddenly? Does he or she overspeed? What's the highest speed he or she drives? Use FamilySafe's driving report. Parents are not always there to accompany their teens. Moreover, teens are still more behaved when they are with their parents. To get a better and more accurate understanding of how your teen drives, you can use FamilySafe's driving report feature. FamilySafe has a cool feature driving report. With this feature, you can view, check the highest speed, average speed, total driving distance, driving time, and number of hard brake and overspeeding of your teen's drive. Tips to help your teen form good driving habits. Bad driving habits can lead to serious consequences, including accidents and injury. So it's important to help your teens form good driving habits early on. Here are some tips that can help. One, create a safe, organized environment by using a car seat belt and other restraints every time your teen drives, even if it's just around the block. Remember, it only needs seconds to buckle the seat belt and takes a lifetime to regret if an accident happens. Second, set a good example by being a safe, responsible driver yourself. 
If you've been in an accident, don't let your teen drive until you've both discussed what happened and learned how to prevent it from happening again. Third, establish clear rules and consequences for breaking them. Basic rules could include eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, obey all traffic signs, no drug and alcohol use. If your teen breaks a distraction rule you've set, consider suspending your teen's driving privileges, further limiting the hours during which they can drive or limiting the places where they can drive. Fourth, be sure your teen knows how to handle emergencies while driving, such as skidding on ice or getting stuck in traffic before they take off on their own for the first time and make sure they follow those rules. This will wrap up today's episode on how to help your teens form good driving habits. Talk to your teens about driving and help them make smart choices, whether it's choosing a driver's education course or ensuring they wear a seat belt every time they get behind the wheel. By doing so, you can ensure that they'll be better safer drivers as they get older and will likely reduce the risk of them getting in a car accident. And don't forget, parents can also use FamiSafe to know their teens' driving details even if they are miles apart. Feel free to leave your comments down below and share your useful tips on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye!